Hey everyone, uh, welcome back. Uh, sorry about that, I crashed again. So I went ahead and changed the resolution for this game in case it's too taxing on my system. So I just changed it right now. Um, unfortunately, we can't rename our scale because uh, that window is now gone, or that option is now gone, I should say. And now I moved an inch in the grass and we are fighting again. So uh, bummer for us, I guess. I'm tempted to run, but you know, we should really fight these things just so we could uh, get the XP here. Looks like Psychic is good against all of these Temtem, which is really nice, so let's go ahead and hit them. But I really want to heal Scale and get her going on our team. So my favorite Temtem so far have been uh, Scale, uh, to Y, or Scale, Ho uh, Hugh Chick, of course, and our uh, Daisy here, which is a Saipat. So I think they might be long haul members. And we might uh, have Kaku in here as well, because Kaku does add that additional element um, that we may need to defeat other foes. So let me go ahead and heal at the Temporium. I really wish you could play by yourself, you know? I wonder if that's the reason as well, is that I'm losing internet access. I don't have the world's best internet, so I wonder if. Losing internet access is what's causing me to crash as well. So yeah, here's our squad. Um, we're gonna go ahead and move Scale up. That way we can level her up some more. We'll have Daisy going here. I mean, I like I like Swally. I don't know what Swally evolves into. It'd be very interesting to find out. Then we have Kaku. I think Kaku is, yeah, nature. Kaku is our only nature type. We have Wind at Tawai. Oh, no, that's not true. Swally is also nature. Earth Shawl is nice. The thing is, Kaku has really great SVs. Can you look at that? Look at that. It almost feels um, wasteful not to use Kaku for that instance, you know? Or for that instance for that for that reason. So we're gonna go ahead and press forward, I guess. A part of me wants to grind. Uh, what's this person? Climber, you see that rock face right over there? That's some of the best climbing in the region. You just need the right gear and skills and up you go. Feet on the rock, head on the clouds. Alrighty, let's go ahead and um, we, we need a Genki. You know, that's what we need. We need a Genki. Let's go ahead and bench. I want to bench one of our Temtems because uh, I believe we get Genki up through these cliffs. And I don't think we'll ever be in a position where we're going to need a sixth member anyways. If we lose out <laughs> and don't have a sixth member to use, then, you know, that's kind of on us. So as much as I really like Kaku for her stats, we're going to we're gonna bench her. No, sorry, uh, Swally or Swoli has uh, Urashol, and it's a very good move. So we're going to hold on to him. I'm not even sure what he evolves into, uh, Swall, Swally, so... We'll find out together if uh, we make it there anyway. And in case you were wondering, for Clairvo, I think when she hits level 20, we'll bench her. I think 20 is a good place to stop for like your main uh, your main Temtem. Later in the game, you can actually, and pretty early actually, you can get a, an item where you can XP share uh, more effectively. So that's something to consider. Turns out there's just Taros over there. Go up these cliffs. Oh, in case you were wondering, we're just checking up the map. Oh, it unveiled all of it. Okay, so we went through the forest, or we went through the tall grass, and we're now we are going up the cliffs on the little on-ramp here. And we are now making the turn. But we do want to fight trainers. Okay, good. Our trainer's right here. Can't really see him that well because of this tree. We have Galazio. You, you heading to Braca de Mar, buddy? Uh, are we not there? <laughs> Where are we? Is Braca de Mar like a county and we're just like in a town? Uh, well, you're nearly there, so why not make a little pause and tempt him up? Sure, certainly, of course, why not? I like to why, I just feel like there isn't, you know, what, what does really well for Pokemon, for the Pokemon, is that there's lore and, and story behind a lot of them. And you see them in a lot of different instances. And, you know, growing up as a kid with Pokemon, of course, you just create these bonds and relationships because you watch them on, you know, a cartoon. Or, you know, if you play the game, there, there just seems to be a lot more to them. Whereas in Temtem, it's a little hollow right now. Hopefully later, maybe in Temtem 2 or with expansions, uh, they do better exploring more about the Temtem themselves. But I think what's really lacking is fundamental relationships you have with Temtem and what makes them so special to the player, you know, not just their abilities and, and how they perform on the field, but what makes them cool, you know? You know what's really cool about this uh, Yumi Shi is that I actually had um, Aluma 
of that, which is their shiny. But when you, you know, when you change, when you delete a character, you'll lose all your Temtem. So had to say goodbye to my Umashi. It was really nice. It's red, actually. Really cool Temtem. Okay. So we have a new ability, Held Anger. All that suppressed rage keeps building up until it bursts into a Nova of Arath. Again, I really wish I knew what it what that meant. Like, what does that mean? Priority? Does that mean it gains more attack? What does that What does that mean? I'm clicking details, so details isn't very detailed. But yeah, we accept it as an extra slot. Why not? We have Pig a Pick coming through. Oh yeah, cool. Uh, if we have a Pig a Pick again, we can go back and show it to our friend in town. Let's do Held Anger. We'll finally know what it's about, I guess. Speed Arrow. Oh, cool. Just a little trait there. Oh, it's gone. Died. Wow. What the heck was that? <laughs> what was that? What? You just won? I know. How did I win? Earned 107 pansol. How did I... What is that? What was that just then? Vian, I don't even know what that ability was. I don't even know if it was like if it attacks both Temtems, just because you know there was only one Temtem left. But what a move! Telling your friends about it probably is a special attack that's like that because not only does it eat 16 stamina points, but it requires I think what two turns, three turns perhaps to use. Dang, Baharo is another good one to actually have on your team early on. I believe it's also I believe it's a neutral and wind type, maybe just a wind type, but. That's one to have, but if you have Tawai, I just feel like Tawai is such an advantage early on. I kind of wish they didn't give you Tawai so early on because Tawai is like Eevee in where different environments compel it to level. I think it'd be very interesting if at first if they showed you a Tawai evolved creature and then they gave you the base Tawai. And then you get to work on that, you know, as the story progresses, progresses and stuff like that. I think you get to Y way too early. And I know that, you know, the game is about 2v2, but I mean, you do relatively well with like one uh, Temtem anyway, early on at least. I don't think it's that big of an issue, especially since they have that outpost there. It might be a little scary the way it looks, but you know, facing two Temtems and stuff like that at a time. I'm not even sure if you can voluntarily... Oh no, you can. I think you... Can you? Actually, I don't know. I was thinking like, can you just have one Temtem fighting by sending all your other Temtems into like the uh, Temtem box? But not sure if you can actually do that. Super fascinating if you can. I'll, I'll check that actually um, when we get to the next uh, place. <laughs> feel bad for these people, these real life people who are just standing here. Oh right, now when I want to fight a Temtem, they're not spawning. Love that, love that. Genki is up here somewhere, that's why I'm- Okay, here's a pig a pick. We're gonna capture it, of course. So let's go ahead and I believe we're gonna knock out Baharo. And uh, Scales Scratch is not gonna be too devastating. So let's do that. Nice. So I think one more scratch for the pig a pick should do it. Oh, okay, we gotta be careful now. We don't wanna hit pig a pick by accident and we don't want pig a pick hurting itself. Okay, it has that evasion thing. Let me see if I can do hypnosis on it. Oh, I wish this had appeared sooner. The Temtem avoids the next offensive technique directed at it, evading. Ah, that didn't happen last time we fought. Temtem card. Oh, okay, that happens first, got it. Nice. Okay, cool. So, oh, Pega Pick is a Pega Pick is a wind type. I almost want to hold on to the Pega Pick because, you know, we had a plushie of it when we first started. So lore wise, I feel like it makes sense. Strength is really good. Everything else is actually trash. Its SVs are bad. Anyways, fainted curse. When knocked out, the attacker loses 30% of max HP. That's brilliant. That is a fun trait. Not sure how relevant it is, but wow. I thought you could send it directly to the box. Uh, I guess you can't do that unless your squad is full. Well, Pig a Pick is with us. Anyways, uh, give me one sec. I actually want to check Pig a Pick's evolve form. Like, do we want to hold on to it? You know, I'm, I'm a sucker for like how the evolve form looks like. <laughs> so, 
<laughs> if the evolve form looks cool, we're gonna hang on to it. If it doesn't evolve or anything like that, then I'm not opposed to just leaving it alone. It is a win type, and again, we have to Y, so it feels like we're doubling up for no good reason. It does not evolve. Pick a pick does not evolve. Okay. Well, despite how cute and lore-based it would be to have, we're not gonna have it already. I've told you a uh, hundred. Oh, you're not her. Hi there. Who's her? Shh, not so loud behind you. No, don't turn around. What? Actually, let's talk teptomology. Oh, no, 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 not again. No way, man. <laughs> it just battles me straight up. It is the holiday season. When I'm playing this game, it's about a day after Christmas, so I wonder if a bunch of people got this game for Christmas and are playing it right now. Boom. Great. We have Kalazu coming out. Kalazu's a squid. Oh, yeah. The Kalazu is really cool because it turns into like this awesome kraken, which I find really fascinating. Dude, scale kind of has that counter then because counter in the sense that once we have that special move, it's like game over for the battle almost. We won't really see its full capacity and types of damage and stuff until um, we get further in the game, but. I'm thinking of like uh, just the possibilities of what how you can use held anger is super interesting to me. And that should be it. Kalazu is down. They're about level 5, level 6. I think the highest level we've seen so far, maybe 7? You sure know how to use those Temtem, -tem, right? Not even using its specials. Big attack go boom is what I'm doing. So if you've noticed, uh, you'll see a lot more cuts as I walk through this place, and that's because um, I'm cutting out a lot of like excess battles that we have with wild temtem. They're not really important, you know, unless we find some cool temtem that we're gonna capture. I'll also give you a rundown and show you um, what level my temtems are should uh, should be level really high. Wow, look at that huge hoi chick right there. I mean, the evolved form of it. Oh, it's so cool. Hey, I know you. You're January, aren't you? Uh, and you are. You don't remember me, eh? Well, it figures it was a long time ago. Mama? No, <laughs> you don't recognize me. I'm Carmen. Doesn't ring a bell. I'm sorry. That was many years ago. And you are Ina's kid, right? I remember you playing in Zadar years ago before I left to train to Arisola. Send Kalazu. I haven't been in uh, Zadar in ages. How is she doing? She's fine, thanks. What have you been up to? I spent some time at the Academia and then entered the Aerosola Dojo to hone my technique. Then I did some traveling, working here and there to earn some pansons. Yeah, you know what? This is why I want to be, you know, working around the community and uh, just living my life normally and not be a Temtem trainer because it's not a very um, secure way of living, you know? I spent some time in Myers, Myers Isle, learning how to use my nature Temtem more effectively, and then I was in Kisiwa for a while, how I missed the mountains and the and that herbal tea. Anyway, now that I'm back in Denez, I should pay that old town a visit. I guess I should say hi to Ina and all the old tamers. There are old tamers? Where? You're like the only one that I have met. She's fine, thanks. Good to hear it. She must be a bit lonely now that you're flying solo. I should have a coffee with her and catch up. You should, you should. Uh, show me what you've learned. Ha, huh? we used to pretend fight with stuffed Temtem when you were eight. Remember? Now we're having a real battle. How time flies. I mean, I am 30 years old. <laughs> okay, I don't know what the game lore age is. I think maybe we're 13 in the game. I don't know. But, wow. She left when she was what? I want to say 50 then? If she's like, you know, hunched over and stuff. <laughs> Anyways, we're just gonna do battle. Temtem up, as the kids say nowadays. Is that how we say it? Temtem up? Temtem up yours is uh, what I like to say because I'm a rowdy one. Okay, I've got uh, I've got a bit of pepper in me. Energy manipulation. Uh, Leoli. Oh, Leoli is cool too. We're gonna go ahead and hit Leoli. We'll focus Leoli down, knock it out. Leoli level nine, Kaku level eight. Okay, so this is the highest um, level we've seen so far. You know, it's kind of funny to have White Chick be so high level in the sense that, you know, like, it's almost excessive, but that's kind of how I always like to do it. I like to have one strong creature and then everyone else can, like, lean on that small, on that strong creature should the battle get hairy. So right now, Clairvo, she's just, you know, gaining those levels and, uh... Getting there. I love Hoi Chick so much. I love sidekick slash mental types. I don't know why. I just think they're cool. 
I just used an ability that took Hoichik's HP? Okay, Hoichik. Oh, Hoichik did damage. Hoichik did take damage. Okay, she's fine. She's fine. Very impressive, January. I bet she's proud of you. I wouldn't know. I don't even know who that lady is to me. My guardian. Not my mother. She's not my real mom. I guess your next stop is Arisola. You look ready for the dojo. Safe travels. Thanks, lady. Lady? Upper Indigo Lake. Ooh, we're fighting, we're fighting. More Kaku. So more cutting. While I hate switching out Hoi Chick, uh, she's my fave, I'm gonna have to do so. We're gonna go ahead and move Scale up one, and then get Daisy and then second. And then we're just gonna grind here just a little bit until I uh, see if we can find some rare Temtems, perhaps. I'll check, I'll check back in with you guys um, if we do run into something awesome. Ooh, what is this? Venomous Claws from Daisy? Wow, she has such a wide variety of moves here. When the look of your claws doesn't prevent the fight, the poison finishes it. Lovely. We'll use it in, in place of Stare. Tail Strike. Ooh, that was a fun one. And Venomous Claws looks like to be the counter to that uh, Temtem, Kaku. Alrighty. So, it looks like we're just running into the same old, same old Temtem, um, so we're gonna go ahead and move on. Uh, City Slicker, oh look, a country bumpkin, a typical southern Denez garb. How authentic. Literally in jeans and a hoodie. Hi, sorry friend, he's a bit of a big city boy. Don't even know what that's supposed to mean. It's showtime, peasant. Dude, you bear you don't even have a shirt on. You look like more of a city uh, country bumpkin than I do. Alright, so we're gonna use a scratch. Oh, it's smazzy. Okay, it's a starter. Level 10 at that. Whoa, it's a hoi chick. What the heck? Who are these guys? What the f <laughs> How are these guys? What? 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 A hoi chick and this smazzy? What's going on here? These guys are the destined uh, a duo. <laughs> what? 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 Uh, scale's gonna definitely hit smazzy because can't do anything else. We're gonna use water blade on smazzy. There you go. Getting kicked in the face. <gasps> Hang in there, Daisy. Okay, so we're gonna tail strike Schmazzy. And then we're going to heal. Okay, Vital Apple on Daisy. Because I do want her to get this last bit of uh, XP here. Good job. There you go. Psy Wave. That's huge. That's... It's weakness. Okay. All right, that wasn't very much, actually. So, kind of a waste, kind of a waste. Uh, let's go ahead and switch out our Temtems. Um, we'll go ahead and throw into Y and Swally, I feel, is the is the way we should do this. Oh, yikes, Hypnosis. Oh, 2Y is out. Oh, but Hoichik just... <laughs> Oh, you just used- okay, drilled its HP. Uh, we are asleep, so, uh, yeah, we can't do anything. We'll use Urashol to poison, uh, Hoichik. There we go. Hoichik gets some rest. There we go, to Y is awake. And Windblade to pretty much finish this off, another Urashol. Ooh, nice! There we go. Easy speezy. Lemon, lemon. See, Slickers, but how? That's only right. Good fight. Let's go, you Urbanite Tamer. You earned 79 buckaroos. Nice. I'll talk to him again. Go away. You're such a sore loser, dude. Yeah, excuse my friend. He's new to these parts. Sometimes just doesn't get that. Next time I'll beat you, bumpkin. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Um, there's a house here. What's in this place? I- is this house- <gasps> Where are we? This is new! What? Look at all this merch, dude! If it's, uh, Ina's kid, you've grown up now, January, was it? Welcome to my humble abode. I suppose you've come to admire my collection. Yeah, it looks amazing. Truly impressive. My pride and joy indeed. I started young, about your age. Maybe when I understood Temtem Taming was actually just one form of collecting, and that what I really enjoyed was the thrill of bringing beautiful things together. 
That's nothing like the joy of having a unique set of something. The rarer, the more difficult to find, the better. Seashells, Tukamani, Fungi, Sampaki, Kubuki prints, you name it. Is there anything you don't collect? Well, there has been one thing that has been in my mind a lot, and so far, it has eluded all my efforts. Have you ever heard of Stick Tem stickers? Of course they are, they're legendary. I never, what, what are those? Oh, they're, they were a legend back in my time. We used to collect them. Every kid had their own Stick Tem album. They were all the rage. They are discounted now. They went out of print almost 30 years ago, and now they're as rare as rubies. Every once in a while, every once in a blue pan sun, I managed to find a single sticker, and most of them damaged beyond repair. And I'm in no shape to keep trotting around the whole archipelago, chasing leads on stick tem hordes like, a, like when I was younger. Not to mention that I was never a keen flyer. Airships give me the cold sweats. That they, they just don't sound worth it, ma'am. No, okay, perhaps I can give you a hand. You'd be so kind. I knew old Eno raised you, right? Well, it would be great if you could be my eyes and hands out there. Give me a minute, let me find it. I got a stick album. This venerable out-of-print tome holds your budding collection of vintage stick tem stickers. Oh, they're kind of like, um like a stamps, I guess. Here, handle it with care. It's an authentic stick tem album and in mint condition. I've never found any stickers in a condition worthy enough for it, but by all means, stick in any good ones you find. Just make sure they're in good condition, mind you. We don't want to spoil this pristine album with torn, dirty, or damaged stickers. It would be hard enough to find. It was hard enough to find. So keep your eyes peeled, and if you have something shiny out in the corner of your eye, check it out. Leave no stone unturned. You know what? You can keep the album. Really, I don't even need to own it, but it will bring me it'll bring joy to my heart to see you fill it. So what do I do with the damaged stickers? I think you all complete the collection. Oh, what do I do with the damaged ones? Keep them just in case. I've heard there's a secondary market for lesser collectors who buy faulty stickers. So with the right contacts, you might still be able to make a pretty penny from them. Thank you, I'll complete the collection. I love to see the collecting bug pass on to the new generation. Please come back and show me your collection as it grows, and I'll make sure to make it worth your while. I have plenty of trinkets you might like. Thank you so much, Fariha. That is awesome. We're gonna get a bunch of stickers. It's gonna be great. I'm gonna go into your fridge and eat yum, 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 yum. Some uh, Kaku Temtems in there, um, freshly peeled, freshly skinned. <laughs> but you got to imagine they eat Temtem in this world. Have to. Have to. Let's go ahead and check it out, though. Oh, here it is. Stick Tem album and stickers. This is your genuine Stick Tem album with all the stickers you haven't stuck in it yet. Exciting. Okay, cool. So this is where it is, I suppose. Inspect. Ah, oh, I see. Okay. Cool. Alrighty. Beautiful home, great minigame. And with that, I think we will end the episode. This uh, may be a long one, so I do thank you so much for joining me on this one. If you have enjoyed this Let's Play of Temtem, I know there was a lot of talking, a lot of reading, a lot of NPC questing. But you know, the beginning stuff is just sort of like that. When you go on your adventure, you gotta do a lot of talking. Sometimes the nonsensical stuff, like finding the locker combination. But, at any rate, I want to thank you so much for joining me. If you have enjoyed this Temtem Let's Play, please be sure to show your support. And I will see you in the next one. Oh, there's a question mark on here. I didn't even realize this on the compass. Anyways, okay, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.